and China. So today we're going to be doing our very first unboxing of Ricky's Cult Crushes, which is a $15 monthly beauty and makeup subscription box. Here's what the front of the box actually looks like, um, but it has my address on it, so it's just easier for me to show you the back of it. Again, it says $15 a month. They have sent, I've seen a couple of unboxing of the Ricky's Cult Crushes, and they're not as big as BoxyCharm. Like, the company itself isn't as big as BoxyCharm. However, I've seen unboxings, I've seen, like, their Instagram and stuff, and, like, a couple of months ago, they had this really cool, bright, eccentric eyeshadow palette, and they've had some, like, pans and stuff like that, and it seems like their boxes are, like, not bad. They seem, like, pretty exciting, and so I was like, hey, why don't I sign up for them? I was on their wait list for, like, a month. But here I have June's box in my hand, so I'm really excited to see what's in this box. I have really high hopes. It seems like it's pretty well filled, so let's get into it. Again, this is $15 a month, so I'm excited. I hope it's better than Ipsy and everything. So here's what the inside of the box looks like. There's a lot of bubble wrap underneath here. Okay, so I'm pulling out the first thing, and it has all of the, the stuff on the back. But in case you guys were wondering, here's what um, I've said cult crushes. But that's what their card looks like. So looking inside the box, this is what the box looks like. Okay, I'm going to try not to judge. Maybe there's a beauty in here that I just don't know about. But like looking at it, I don't know. I feel like it was like thrown together. Like I have like a pinch. I call these snakes. But I have a pinch of filler and then I have all of this bubble wrap back here. So I don't know. I'm not I'm not starting this off. I'm not looking really thrilled, but hey, maybe there's a beauty in here. So the first thing that I'm pulling out is this Divine Collection Foil Tish Tissue Patches, extra firmness for the eyes. Um, so I'm gonna just this is like gold patches that you put under your eyes. Um, I've used these once, not these exact ones, but I used the gold patches under my eyes once. Didn't really notice a difference after using them, but I know with skincare, you gotta use it a couple of times to really notice a difference. Um, I mean, I'm not like super duper excited, but I mean, hey, it's not, it's not terrible. We could be starting off worse, just not super pumped about it. Okay, the next thing that I'm pulling out is from Avatera Shape Up Face Mask for Delicate Skin, um... Technical Fiber has received the European Award for the Environment. Okay, I really hope this smells like oranges. Avara Terra Custom Crafts, a luscious cocktail of ingredients to serve up a serum that packs a punch. When combined with a sheet ma mask, it's the perfect pairing. Our 100% tentacle sheer fabric retains more moisture than other synthetic mask material, plus frustration-free unfolding makes it easier than ever to apply. In just 20 minutes, your skin will be refreshed, fabulous, and glowing, just like you. Okay, I'm really excited. I've never had an orange-scented um, mask. I don't know what this is supposed to do for my skin. Restore elasticity so skin can look and feel its best with this exclusive cocktail for energizing ingredients. Okay, that's really cool. I've never had an orange one. I hope it smells like oranges. And the next thing that I'm pulling out, out is the Avantara Even Out Face Mask. Skin loves a smoothie. Tighten, retexturize, and revitalize the look of uneven skin with this exclusive cocktail for primers for uneven skin. This is definitely much more up my alley. I mean, like, I don't really have delicate skin, and I don't really feel like I need to, like, improve my elasticity. But this is much more up my alley. This is something that definitely fits much more to like my body and my face. Um, I just, again, I just like signed up for this. They didn't have like a beauty profile or anything that you fill out with like Ipsy and Birchbox. I think you, do you, not Birchbox. I think you fill out a profile for BoxyCharm, but I don't quote me on that. But I know you definitely do for like Sephora Play and Ipsy and stuff like that. But this definitely fits much more along with like my needs because I have acne prone skin. I have pores. I have pockmark scars. I have... A whole bunch of problems with acne and like my skin being uneven so I'm excited to try this out and see what this does for my skin. The next thing that I'm pulling out is this Brock Beauty Hair Infinity Advanced Hair Care Healthy Hair Vitamins. So we got some hair vitamins which I have I have to say I have never received any type of supplement in a beauty box so I mean they took a unique spin they don't, yeah, they smell like, I think all, like, all hair care supplements for some reason always have this, like, strange smell to me. This, like, there's actually a lot in here. Like, there's not, like, I thought there was only going to be, like, four, like, just looking at the bottom. I thought there was only going to be, like, that amount. But the bottle's, like, filled up to, like, right here. So there's a decent amount in there. You're supposed to take two capsules and it will serve you seven times. Um, yeah, it has vitamin E. 
vitamin C, vitamin D, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folic acid, and vitamin B12. It's not amazing. I'm not like, yeah, hair care supplements because these things literally never work for me. So maybe like, maybe guys, the next time you guys see me, I'm taking these. I'm going to have like Rapunzel length hair. Um, but again, I've never received anything like this in any subscription box that I've ever signed up for. So I mean, like props to you guys for doing something unique that I've never seen before. And I've been signing up for beauty boxes for like five years now. So I've gotten a lot of boxes in my lifetime and I've never ever seen this. So I think it is really cool that they're putting a unique spin on sending out different types of items and like beauty and healthcare in their boxes. The next thing that I'm pulling out is this. Oh, we got eyeshadow, pressed shadow from Suva Beauty. Oh my gosh, the packaging is so cool. I'm gonna unwrap it from the plastic. But this is a shimmer eyeshadow, and the name of it is Gaster or Gasto. I can't see yet, so I'm just guessing. Um, the name of it is Gastown Grind. Okay, so this is Gastown Grind from Suvia. I'm going to assume that's how you pronounce it. Suva Beauty. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but let's swatch it and see what it looks like. That's a nice and pretty copper. That's really pretty. I don't hate it. It's a really lovely copper shade. Um, I don't see if there's anything on here. There's nothing else to read here. I've never heard of this brand at all, but this is really pretty. And this is actually a really big pan. Like a lot of pans I receive are like half the size of this, I guess you could say. This is more of a shade that I receive a lot of blushes in. Um, so for this being a shimmer eyeshadow, I'm pretty impressed. Like, and I really, really like the packaging. I think this packaging, this packaging reminds me of like Paramore. I don't remember what song, but like it's got Paramore written all over it and like this type of font or comparable font. So I don't know. I really like the packaging and I like the eyeshadow. The next thing I'm pulling out is this vial. This is from Gulsha. It's Ultimate Rose Water Toner for Pure Radiant Skin. Tested under dermatological control for all skin types. It's paraben free, alcohol free, glycol free, gluten free, colorant free, and perfume free. That's really cool. I've never used rose water as toner. I don't even know where you can get rose water. The only rose water thing that I've ever used is from Mario Badescu, and that's the um rose water spray. And I didn't really like that. It made my skin feel very greasy. It smells like rose water. I mean, I know they said they, I know that they said it's perfume free, but it definitely still has the rose water scent. I'm excited to see this and to see if it does anything for my skin. That's really exciting. And the last thing in this box is from Murad. This is the Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser. 1.5% Silic Acid Acne Treatment. Okay, I don't really know much about Murad. I've never really shopped their brand because I know they're expensive at Sephora and I'm just... I'm not, like, it takes me a long time to find something that actually works for my skin, that actually works for my skincare routine, and even then, like, you guys can see that I'm still struggling. I'm still greasy. I still have acne and everything, and I am just not willing to drop a pretty dime on something that I don't know if it's going to work, so I really like that I was able to get something, because I've heard a lot about using, like, silic acid in your acne treatment, and I've heard some things about this scrub. Oh, well, it's not a scrub, but it's a cleanser, so I'm excited to see if this does anything for my skin. I don't know if this is full-sized or not. I don't know. I don't feel like it's a, like, I don't think this is full size. It's 1.5 fluid ounces, but I know Murad is a very expensive brand. So I'm excited that this was in the box. So here's everything that we got. Here's everything that we got in our box. We got the Avon Terra Even Out Face Mask. We got the Avon Terra Shape Up Face Mask. We got the Divine Collection Gold Eye Patches. We got the Murad Acne Cleanser. We got the, I'm assuming you say Gulsha? That's how I'm gonna, that's how I'm trying to pronounce it, but I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Um, the Gulsha Ultimate Rose Water Toner. So that's one, two, three, four, five skincare items, plus these hair growth supplements, plus a shimmer eyeshadow. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items for $15. Um, oh wait, let's read the card before I give my final opinions. Let's read the card. Okay. So it says this, Golsha Ultimate Rose Water Spray. Not your typical rose water spray. It's not even a spray, there's no spraying option. This one is produced drop by drop by the distillation of fresh rose petals. It protects, soothes, and tones your skin, plus it's perfect for on the go pick me up for those hot summer days. Okay, the Murad Clarifying Cleanser. 
With more sunshine comes more sweat, which can lead to more breakouts on different areas of your skin. Luckily, this daily gel cleanser combats acne by washing away pore clogging, grime, oil, and irritants. The next thing they have is the Iora Foil Tissue Patches. Summertime is all about the natural glow, and these 24 karat gold foil tissue patches are here to help. They improve the appearance of your skin around the eyes and lips, providing all day hydration and firmness. Next, they're talking about the Hairfinity Healthy Hair Vitamins. Let your hair grow long and your nails grow strong with the seven day supply of vitamins. They provide your body with key ingredients like vitamin A and D, niacin, biotin, and vitamin B12 to strengthen from the inside out. Next, they're talking about these face masks. Get your skin summer ready with these two new invigorating face masks. Even out helps to unclog pores while shape up restores elasticity. And last but not least, they have the Suva Beauty Shimmer Shadow. Lighten and brighten your eyes by adding a touch of glitter. Perfect for daytime or nighttime look, this 4G pan of shadow has you covered. That This is a really, really big pan. Okay, I have to admit, the thing that I am least excited about are these. Because I know I've seen these at the dollar store. And if I'm being, this is me being really, really picky. And I don't like being picky, but I want to give you guys like my full opinion, my full unfiltered opinion. Because I want you guys to like know what I'm thinking and then form your own thoughts off of that. So I've seen this at the dollar store. And I feel like it has the dollar store look, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't know. It just, I'm not super pumped about this. However, I do really like that they put in two. Actually, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say two different items to help control acne. And this, they had a lot of skincare in this box. This definitely was more of like a skincare box rather than like makeup and beauty. I'm not also, I'm not pumped about the vitamins. However, that's because I'm like, I know like from personal experience that a lot of them don't work and most of them are just a gimmick from my personal experience. But I think it's really cool that they're taking a different spin on the subscription box market and putting in hair supplements. I've never seen that with any subscription box that I've ever signed up for. So I think that's really cool that it gives you something to try out that's not only for like instantaneous beauty, but something that could maybe help you down the road. And I also really like this eyeshadow that this is from Suvia. Is it Suvia or Suva? Suva. Okay, the Suva Beauty Shimmer Shadow. I like this. I think this is a really pretty color. I have to say, BoxyCharm has spoiled me. However, BoxyCharm is $21 a month and Ricky's Cult Beauty is $15 a month. So after all of that has been said, I have to say I'm not exactly pumped about this box. I, I know BoxyCharm has spoiled me. I love BoxyCharm. That is the best subscription box I have ever tried. But BoxyCharm is $21 a month and this is $15 a month. So they're not exactly equal in price points for me to be comparing them to. I wish there was more makeup in this box. Um... I mean, I understand if like your box has a theme and like the month's theme is skincare, that would totally make sense. However, I feel like this was a lot like basically just like masks and I'm not really a mask girl. This is something that I'm definitely the most disappointed in. I feel like I've seen stuff like this at the dollar store. So that doesn't make me feel really excited. However, I do find it really interesting that they included hair supplements in that. I have never seen any subscription box or beauty box include hair supplements in their like in their box so i think it's really interesting that they're taking a different stance on the subscription box market for the beauty world and sending out hair supplements i'm i just i don't know i've never seen that before and i think it's really like interesting and impressive the thing that i am most excited about is the murad cleanser because I know it's the most expensive thing in this box, presumably. I'm assuming that this is the most expensive thing in this box. Um, so I think it's really cool that I, there's something in here, at least from a brand that I recognize and I know is expensive. And then I also have to say that I'm excited to try out the Evens Out face mask. I'm not a huge face mask girl, but I'm willing to try anything once. I also wanted to say really quick, and again, this is me being really picky, is I feel like this box was just like thrown together and there wasn't really much love or care put into it because like, I mean, I just pulled all of this out to make sure that there was nothing else in the box, but this was like stuffed in a corner and like, I don't know. I just feel like, like, I know stuff happens in shipping, but like, I feel like it was all just like stuffed in a corner and then like everything else was thrown in and it was just like, okay, let's get it out. Let's get it like and go and not really like, okay, we want to make sure that this person has like a special experience with their box. I don't know. I'm not really impressed with this. And again, me being picky and that's my own personal thoughts, but I've tried out a lot of subscription boxes and... I'm not really pumped about this one. I would love to hear what you guys' thoughts are in the comment section down below. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video.